Hello everybody and welcome back. So today I have a favorites video for you guys. I am so excited about this because your girl seriously got some good products this month and a lot of you guys have been asking me on the vlog channel what has changed about my skincare routine which is what I'm going to talk about in this video because this Thing, and you guys probably know what it is because I rave about it on Instagram. This thing has definitely become one of my favorites and I just have to talk about it. On top of that, I have a lot of other things that I found uh, since January. So this is more of like a collective favorites than just February that I want to share with you guys. So let's get started. First thing I have to mention is of course my Pixie collab. So on February 6th, my baby with Pixie launched, which is my Whaley Dimensional Eye Creator Kit. It's called the Dimensional Eye Creator Kit because it's not just a palette, it is a kit because there is a eyeliner in it. So many of you guys have been telling me how much you've been loving the liner and I'm so happy because when I tried this liner for the first time, I was like, oh my God, you guys are gonna die because it's the best eyeliner. And I'm so happy that it's drugstore as well. So very, very affordable. This kit is $20. The eyeliner has the coal side, which is a pencil. You can use it to tight line. And then there's the felt tip liner side, which is the liquid. And they're just amazing. They work so well together. I have mono lids and really greasy lids. So y'all know the struggle, okay? I'm queen of having eyeliner just like smeared on my lids. Lids, but with this uh, 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 girl once you put it on it is on and it is not smearing so this is definitely eyeliner of the year I'm not just saying this because it's my eyeliner actually I kind of am saying it because this eyeliner is the bomb but really this eyeliner you guys have to give it a try so besides the eyeliner there's also the palette um, my palette has six different shades in it this is the let's talk eyes palette I am so proud of this product it is so so good everything is so creamy everything is pigmented it's just a really nice quality palette at an affordable price which i'm just so so proud and happy about so yeah thank you guys so much for all your support so many of you have been sending me photos of you wearing it or seeing it in target so uh. i'm on a pixie roll by the way the month of february so i've been loving this blush duo right here it's a blush and highlighter duo i believe i have been loving this like this blush gets me excited every time i put this blush on my face i literally feel like like a glistening donut okay i'm glowing so if you're looking for a good highlighter blush duo whatever give this one a try it's amazing it's the pixie beauty blush duo in peach honey best way i can describe how this looks is it's very it's like there's like a sheen to it but it's not like just shimmers. Does that make sense? I mean, clearly it's shimmery, but it's also very creamy and soft. So I absolutely love this. You guys have to try it if you're looking for a good highlighter blush duo. Next thing that's also from Pixie, I've been wearing this almost every single day on my lips, in the vlogs, in my Insta stories, and you guys keep asking what's on my lips. And that is this product right here. This is the Pixie matte last liquid lip in matte beige. This formula is really interesting. It's unlike Oh, sorry about that. It is unlike any like matte lip that I've used. Matte lipsticks I find, or matte liquid lips are usually very thick. It's just not as smooth as this formula. That's not to say other liquid lips aren't good. I have a lot of other ones that I absolutely love, but I really like this one because first of all, it's drugstore and it's affordable. The color payoff is amazing and it's not drying at all. I have very, very dry lips. And as we know, these colder months, I swear all of us are struggling. I'd be seeing chap lips everywhere, girl. Like sometimes I'll just be talking to people, people that I don't even know, and I'll just be staring at their lips and I'm like, I feel you because my lips are on the same level right now. But yeah, I love matte lips and I will always wear matte lip colors even if my lips are dry. So I really like that this formula is not drying at all. The consistency is almost like oily, which is weird, but it feels almost like a oil. Like have you ever used a face oil that your skin just drinks up? This kind of feels like that. My lips just drink it up, it soaks it in, the color just locks in, and I'm good for hours. I'm sure they have a lot of other beautiful colors, but this is the one that I've been loving and using every single day. It's just the perfect my lips but better type of shade. That's actually what I have on right now. So yeah, give this one a go. Another exciting thing that happened this year was my relaunch with e.l.f. I know, it is crazy. Like this year has been off to an amazing start. Thank you guys so much for your support. So last year I came out with a pair of lashes with e.l.f. And after that launch, we sold out and it just kind of got discontinued. So a lot of you guys kept asking for it and you want it back. So we talked and we decided to bring the lashes back. So some of you already noticed it's in Ulta, in most Ulta's. If you don't have any in your Ulta, they're slowly rolling it out. So maybe eventually, 
usually they'll have it in your store, but if not, they have it on Elf's website. But yeah, since the relaunch of my lashes, I've been so so happy because for months i would just get eyelash extensions because there's not really an eyelash that i absolutely loved and ever since the launch ended last year i didn't have any more lashes myself and those were my favorite favorite pair of lashes and they're cruelty free i feel like i can't ever find a nice pair of lashes that aren't mink you know so anyways i'm so happy i'm so glad the lashes are back and they're actually better this time around so if you got to try the lashes the first time around this one is pretty much similar to that. It's almost identical, except it's softer and the band is thinner. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. I love it. It's the perfect amount of volume. It's super fluffy. It looks like mink, but it's not mink. And girl, the best part, it is full Dallas. I love the lashes I used to wear back then, but to think of it, I spent like $20 per pair of lashes and I know that it would last me like almost a month. So every day it's equivalent to just spending a dollar on your lashes, which is not terrible. But if you compare these lashes, for Dallas and they last me about two weeks. So you probably just need two pairs to last you an entire month and that's just $8 a month, you know? So anyways, I'm loving my own lashes. I'm just so happy that the lashes are back. They're so, so amazing and I could not be happier with them. So thank you guys so much for all your support. And if you haven't tried it out yet, check out your Ulta or Elf Cosmetics website. Okay, okay. Now, next thing I wanna talk about, oh, this is life changing and I have to mention this because you guys just need to know and you don't even have to have acne prone skin you could have dry skin or maybe dark spots or whatever I hope that me mentioning this will help change your life as well because it has changed my life you guys know I've been dealing with my skin problems ever since I was like 15. I have just been breaking out for as long as I've known like my breakouts would come and go like sometimes I'd have a better month and sometimes it would just be absolutely terrible and just a month ago my skin was doing so so bad I'll put a photo here so you guys can see but I was breaking out all along my cheek all along my forehead on my chin and I don't get like the deep cystic pimples but I do get a lot of the small pimples and they're just kind of scattered everywhere so my skin was starting to do pretty good on my skincare routine but it still wasn't like promised you know if I had my period I would for sure break out so it wasn't like a skincare routine that was just oh magical if you want to check out the skincare routine video I'll link it down below but yeah that skincare routine it worked it was great but I would still break out during my period week a few of you in that video left a comment telling me to try out Curology and for those of you who commented that can I just say Thank you so, so much. Like that comment changed my life because had you guys not mentioned it, I would have never known about this brand. I would have never looked it up or anything, but I looked it up and basically you do a survey and you fill out all your skin problems and your skin type and you send in photos. After you send in your photos, a dermatologist will look at those photos and just kind of analyze your skin and make a formula that's specific for you. So this is nothing that you can buy over the counter. This is something where you have to, you know, do the whole survey, do that whole process in order to get this product sent to you. So my active ingredient is azelic uh, acid, clindamycin, and zinc pyrithione, which is, I, I mean, honestly, I don't even know what that is, but it's definitely not your typical over-the-counter benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, or like willow bark, or just things like that, because for me, those things used to work a long, long time ago, but because I've had acne-prone skin for so, so long, those ingredients just don't work for me anymore. Like, my skin is so used to it, it just does the bare minimum for me. So I think because it is, like, new ingredients, that's also why it's really helping my skin, but oh, Girl, like this has changed my skin and you guys have seen it in the vlog So many of you have been commenting and asking like what has changed and seriously, it's just this I cut everything out of my skincare routine aside from of course my makeup remover um, just a gentle cleanser and um, This and a moisturizer. Oh, and I also use toner, but I cut out all the serums I cut out like all the abrasive face washes I just keep it simple now and use a simple sunscreen. Sorry I feel like I'm talking forever, but I absolutely love this product and I want to recommend it to all of you if any of you are dealing with any skin problems and you just feel like nothing is working for you I say give this one a try because this is the first thing that has ever worked for me just like that I'm on my period right now and your girl has no pimples like this is a miracle okay <laughs> whenever I get my period I will break out like I'm not one of those who be like oh I may break out my period not nah, girl you get in your period you breaking out okay and for the first time in two months I got my period and no breakouts my skin has consistently stayed clear and I really have to thank this product for that 
Okay, so enough raving about that one product. I have other products that I want to talk about that are skincare related. So the first two would be these. I guess I'll start by talking about this toner. This is basically just a rose water. Yeah, it's by the brand Yvonne Healy and I got this from Whole Foods. So the reason I picked this one up is because my facial list, is that what you call them? Facialist? She does my facials. Esthetician? I don't know. But anyways, the lady that does my facials, she was recommending me to use rose water. She said it will help my skin so much. It's just good for moisturizing, but also very light, so it's not heavy. So yeah, I spritz this toner all over my skin twice a day, once in the morning, once at night, and I just feel like it helps my skin so much. Like it hydrates it. It also brings kind of a little bit of a radiance to my skin. So yeah, there's not much I have to say about this aside from the fact that I feel like it just makes my skin feel good and it looks a little more radiant. It also says here that it balances oil dry combination skin, which is my situation I have. So because I like this toner so much, I went back and I got the Rose Vetiver Day Moisturizer. I got this day moisturizer because I have a night moisturizer, which I'll talk a little bit more about. I mentioned this in my skincare routine as well. But yeah, let me just talk about this day moisturizer first. Uh, I just started using it about, I would say like three days ago, and I really, really like it. I think my skin just responds to rose very well. I don't know. But yeah, this is a Rose Vetiver day moisturizer, which to be honest, I don't know what that means either, but I really like this because it's just very, very moisturizing and it's also very light. When you first put it on, it is a little sticky and you're kind of like, ugh, I don't know how I feel about this. But the trick is to pat it in once you're done. So once you rub it in, don't just let it sit there. You have to go like this and pat it and that's really gonna get your skin to absorb it. And once my skin absorbs this, I am good for the day. Like I don't feel dryness at all and it works well under makeup so really like this moisturizer and highly recommend it if you're looking for a natural just good moisturizer that's cruelty free as well you can find this at whole foods and yeah i love it next moisturizer i want to talk about is this mirad nutrient charged water gel so i talked about this on instagram and also in my skincare routine i really really like this moisturizer and i used to use it under makeup as well in the morning and at night but i just started to feel like this works a little better just at night because it's very very hydrating i wake up the next day and my skin just feels rejuvenated it's plump and it's just super super moisturized so this is great at night and that's not to say it's not good in the morning either but i found that with this moisturizer depending on what primer i use that day sometimes the formula don't mix well together and it starts to kind of shred off so I still use this moisturizer every single day but just at night now and I love it it's just very very soft it's a very cool feeling it's like this it's a jelly it doesn't make my skin feel congested because I have very very oily skin and if I use a moisturizer that's too heavy that will cause me to break out but I'm also really dry in certain areas which is why I need a heavy duty moisturizer so this is kind of like my all-in-one and it works great next thing that I found this month that's absolutely amazing is this bit right here this is the pharmacy green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm this is so, 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 so amazing. If you're looking for a good makeup remover that just rinses off clean, this is the one, girl. This is the one. I really like using cleansing oils to wash off my makeup, but sometimes I find myself just sitting at the sink, like rubbing and rubbing because I can't get all of the cleansing oil off. But this, this is amazing. You just take a small scoop. It comes with a little spatula. Ooh, mine is kind of nasty, but I scoop a little bit of the product and it's like a cute mint green color and it's a balm But once you put it in your hands and you rub it together, it kind of dissolves and becomes an oil I rub it all over my face. It takes off all of my waterproof mascara my foundation my eyebrows Everything it just takes it off in one wash and it rinses off so clean that you don't even have to feel like oh I need to use another cleanser to wash this cleanser off so Absolutely love it. If you're looking for a good cleanser that takes off your makeup and waterproof makeup, this, you must give it a try. All right, guys, so that is it. It felt good to do a favorites. I feel like I haven't recommended products to you guys in quite a while. Like, I would recommend things here and there in the vlogs, but, like, to sit down and actually talk about things that I've been loving, I feel like I just haven't done that in a while. So that is it. I will see you guys in my next video or on Instagram. My Instagram is at Whaley if you guys would like to follow me. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!